Monday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me, and today is YK's birthday. Yo, yo, yo. Happy birthday, YK. YK. Day. 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 Yes, yeah, so. Who's hmm. 60 today? Mm. We'll celebrate a bit later, but first, let me welcome the ladies. How are you doing, Nima? I'm fine. Ah, YK made me love love. I saw Uncle Theo's mess. I couldn't sleep overnight. My son was running temperature oh. all of a sudden yesterday. Even though I did first aid, just didn't improve. So we're together today, all through today. Yeah. Hopefully, I can leave him at some point. But I, I read through uh, Uncle Theo's message for YK, and I was like, oh. ah. Old people love him like this. He knows now. He will beat yeah, me, but uh, so sweet, he's uh, old. Yeah. And, you know, it was just so sweet, you know. Yeah. I loved it. I How love... are you doing, though? I'm fine. I'm stressed. But you'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be, be fine. fine. I'll you be know fine. the way children are. I'm seeing the boy running around playing. You not know that he, did, he kept you awake all night. But he's not eating well. So yeah. I know that he's not eating, so he won't take drugs. You have to be drinks. on him to eat and take his medication. Mm. How are you doing, BC? I'm doing great. I had a very hectic weekend. I was shooting on set. It was back to back Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. And today. <laughs> I'm not feeling for you, I'm feeling for Gauchi because I know he likes to be. Yeah, I know. With, you know? <laughs> so anytime I get home, I have to pacify him. Ah. I'll just with him. That kind of pacify. When you said pacify. <laughs> uh, no, because I'm working. I need my energy for the work. <laughs> so I can't be doing that kind yeah, that, of that pacifying. Doing I'm doing normal Balance pacifying by gisting. It's a phase. I know that, I know that feeling. When yeah. you're doing so much out there. Yeah. And your husband has been feeling like... Yeah. Oh, wow, ah, this abandoned. weekend, I was supposed yes, to have. Now, so together. I, I know that feeling. But, um, yeah. don't but it's fine. Yeah, but... Uh, Saturday is nurturing the nurturer. Yay! Yeah, it's oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's here. Oh, this so Saturday, fast. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, but, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Are you over book now? You're still waiting for. Uh, no, 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 I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Fantastic. No more Close. registration. No more registration. Well, oh wow! You already sold out. <laughs> yeah. oh, high five for Papa Paul. <laughs> it's a free event, but oh, yeah, well, you know. capacity. Yeah. How are you doing there? I'm good. So today, uh, today is um. Um, a very, very dear friend, Joshua Gujabi's birthday. Oh. Very, very dear. He's 40 today. And um, I don't know, you know, some people come into your life and you, it's, it's, you, there's a visible difference in mm. the impact. So mm. in terms of excellence, in terms of attention to detail, he's really brought my attention to the importance. And I can see it in his life. So it's not like he's saying, stop by do this. You can see it. So mm. happy birthday, Joshua Gujabi. Be God bless your 40th. I'm going to be there immediately after the show, and of course, we'll then turn up later for YK's own birthday. Yeah, Shut yes. down the yes. oh, I didn't know. Yes. Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. him. But yesterday, my kids and their dad went to watch a movie. Um, ah, it's a nice. Disney movie, I think it's the only one at the cinema. And my husband came back home and he was like, it was so fantastic. Like, he enjoyed oh, it. Really? So I was going to tell what everybody that I, yeah. I just Spoon become time. a marketing, yeah, but oh, it's, okay. it's in the cinemas. I'll tell you after the show, just it's a cartoon. Animation, but it was really, really good. And the children learnt a lot, you know, about working together and all of that. Yeah. That's nice. Um, How are you doing? I'm doing well. Tomorrow, tomorrow my party. things are going to be seven. Yeah! yeah. 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 That makes us home on this show. We remember your presence to you. Yeah, I posted this. Uh, well, I said, I'm not being gifts, though. Take we'll do, out the we'll drinks. Do, we'll do cake for the two of them, the drinks mm. to school. Mm -hmm. We'll do also, I, I can't do party crackers. the strength of Michael. See, the way Michael was telling Michelle, don't you want <laughs> gifts? Don't you want <laughs> it? Remember? <laughs> the water gone? Yeah. <laughs> Those of you that are not online, you won't understand. You won't understand. Please go and watch the video on Ryan's page. But it was interesting. But eventually, I might get them a gift. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. So I remember the water gone you wanted for how many months? All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, <laughs> we go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. We're we'll back. Let me start with the nation. Southwest APC leaders reject secession agitation. APC PDB clash over or your council polls outcome. President gives soldiers day off. NDLA intercepts 8 billion Naira cocaine at the Lagos airport. COVID-19, 90 travelers from India, Brazil, Turkey wanted. All right, let me start with the major headline, Southwest APC leaders. So, you know, for a while now, we talked about the fact that they had called for a meeting for the Southwest leaders. Um, all of them showed up except for um, Governor of Undo State and uh, Governor of Victor State. They gave their reasons. And um, what was obviously agreed at that meeting was that they 
were in solidarity with the Asaba Declaration, which banned open grazing, and, uh, and also they were, they, they were in solidarity with the restructuring of um, a devolution of powers through federalism and resource to states, which is what we're talking about. And um, they felt that eminent Nigerians must speak up at this time uh, to, 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 um, to strengthen the unity of the country. And they were against vehemently secession, and there was nothing like Yoruba nation according to them, mm. and they stand uh, with the unity of Nigeria. Well, Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, Shem, the uh, suspected uh, drug baron, uh, Ibrahim <coughs> Bez, his drug dealer, uh, was arrested by the uh, operatives of NDLA, um, and they intercepted 36 blocks of cocaine weighing 27.95 kilograms with a street value of over 8 billion mm. at the Motala uh, Mohammed Airport, um, Ikeja, Lagos. And um, the drug lord who was uh, arrested finally was Ejiofo Felix. So what happened was that um, he, he has a syndicate. So how they work is that they tag and, you know, put drugs in bags of unsuspected travelers. So you'll be traveling, you don't know that you're carrying their mm. drugs. Fortunately for one of the passengers who just came back and they attached the, one of the bags to him and he rejected the bag, disclaimed the saying, it's not my bag. So they NDLA Check took it. the bag. And then a few days later, another person came to claim that bag that was seized by NDLA. Oh, so they apprehended the guy. How when wise. investigations went further, they were able to get the AGO4 guy. And he you know, mentioned that he had already given bribe. He planned yeah, to sure. bribe $24,500 $24, bribe to officials. They were supposed to pay it in tranches, 10000 another 10000 uh, in the bank. And they were supposed to, he was supposed to give 4500 at the point of arrest. So investigations are still ongoing, but uh, nobody told us anything about the people that have collected the bribe, if the bribe had been collected and how they want to retrieve it. I'm happy and daily is working. I want to take the COVID-19 story. Ni right. 90 people, 90 people came in from Brazil, Turkey, and India. These are countries that already have the red flag. And if you have been there in the past 14 days, you should quarantine when you come in and like officially have a quarantine. But these 90 people are danger to our country mm. and they are here and they they did not disclose that they had been in these countries before coming in and they are now missing but the good thing is their names and their um addresses were publicized so it's now a case of if you know these people please announce because we don't want this um, strain of COVID-19 oh, in our... Did they publish the names and addresses? They didn't put the no. names here, okay. but they disclosed the name on their platform. The okay. um, uh, Presidential Steering Council okay. dis uh, displayed their names. Okay, great. Okay, let's move on to... Um, punch? The punch. I'm told that our online is not... Okay. Air Force to decide on military jets after probe. <clears throat> By me, I do lap at Southwest leaders endorse ranching and state police. Um, naked cops of ex-Uni Abuja female student recovered from drain. Lagos motorists driving against traffic risk imprisonment and vehicle forfeiture. How we foiled attempted kidnap robbery by headsmen along Akure Ijesha Highway. Amotekun confronts armed men <coughs> protesting Oshun killed suspected cultists. Uh, GDP grows by 0.51% in Q1. And Baron caught with 8 billionaire cocaine in Lagos offers $24,500 bribe. Wow. I okay. to take this the major human interest story of yes, the human interest. Go ahead. Abuja student. So um, she had graduated two years. Her name is Blessing Notunla. She graduated over two years ago, but had to go process her transcript personally. And we know a lot of Nigerian universities require you to show up personally mm. to access Perfect. your transcript, even though they will not hand it over to you personally. Mm. You will need to drop the address of a university where you're applying or a job that requires it for them to send, send it discreetly to that address. But you need to show up. I think it should be easy for us to apply for your transcript with the school records without you showing up because this young lady showed up and then the next thing she was found dead in the drain. Oh. Somebody had killed her and dumped her body in the drain in the school. And hmm. now the, the spokesperson for the FCT police is saying they're on full-fledged investigations of the issue. That's the only recourse we have now. The major, headline, the major story, um, yes. Yeah. So I uh, remember that um, 11 military officers, including the chief of army staff, Ibrahim Atahu, died on Friday uh, when a Beechcraft, um, Beech, Beechcraft aircraft crashed. And um, the Nigerian Air Force, uh, are assuring Nigerians, uh, did, did that on Sunday, that investigations would be transparent. Uh, they said they would not rush into taking any decision, but they would await the outcome of the investigation. Now, this uh, death of um, 11 persons had completed, made it number 33 
in the past six years of um, uh, military personnel that have died, and um, Nigeria has lost about 11 aircraft. So they, they asked um, a question to the spokesperson who said that uh, they were asking if they were going to ground Beechcraft, seeing that a lot of crashes have been happening with that aircraft, and said they've used it for over 10 years. And um, it's not something that they can just wake up and just ground. They have to find mm. out what exactly is happening through the All investigation. Right. I guess like the Saudi Arabia are saying that 60,000 people uh, limits. Is it Nigeria? Yes. yes. So have that story. Not Nigeria. Across the world. Um, opposed to, as opposed to the over 2.5 million people usually at the Hajj every year, the Saudi Arabian government has, you know, um, limited to only 65,000. One paper says 60,000. The other says 65,000 pilgrims across the world due to covid mm -hmm. And um, because, you know, they need to do proper spacing of people. So close, both local and foreign programs would not exceed that amount. Would there be a quota system year. or would, there be, would, they, would they indicate a con the condition? It, already that? in Nigeria, mm. we have uh, an age limit. So if you're above 50, you can't go on the Hajj. Okay. Mm. Uh, fortunately, I just found out. I really wanted to take to the story about the girl that was found. Um, the uni Abuja. Nobody no, has that story. Just, just it. Oh, you just said it. I'll take the Tassuet oh, story. Um, there are two stories. Um, but first, Lagos State is saying that they will start implementing ban against those that drive on one way. Um, they have already impounded a few cars, like really, really big ones. The head of public affairs, Femi Moliki, on Sunday announced it. Ten vehicles were impounded on Sunday. And the CSP, Shola Dejelaye, also said, led his team on, at, at, on this routine. They did this during, um, on the Muritala Mohammed International Airport Road on Friday as well. I'm saying, can we start with yellow buses? Can we impound yellow buses on one way? Can we impound Okadas on one way? Mm. Mm. Before you now, <laughs> are, uh, uh, as in any one way, any yes. public um, yellow no, bus. Apart from one way, on, on BRT lane, can we impound them? Can can we start the, with those the issue ones? is, yes, okay, the issue is, you know, sometimes the, there's a blockage. They are trying to walk. Like, I was going out on Saturday and I realized that everybody had to take Detail. the BRT mm -hmm. way That's because a diversion. it was mm. yes. That's and it's it. happening regularly. So sometimes you may not diversion even know. Is, 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 diversion is, is, is legal. You would there was no the sign of diversion. No. We would, just saw people no, standing there and directing people to At the to end of the, of the exit, you would see a traffic manager. Mm. But the one I cannot believe that beats me every time is one way from Maryland to Ojota yeah, by yellow buses. Consistent. Every time. Yeah. Without yeah. traffic. So don't, before you see me, I'd like to use the opportunity to tell Family and friends, please, when you take one, we don't call me. Because one called me recently. Uh -uh. I'll mention your name. You know, they, I don't Thank know these people. They think they have a connection. Aww. Lagos is not playing. This one, they're not playing. Because yeah, I know somebody whose vehicle was impounded. Yes. Mm. We have to pay money through our nose to get that money out. Yes. No phone call, sorted it out. So please, somebody should come with me. Please, oh. mm. somebody Just came with me. Yeah. Please, oh. I don't know them. Thank you. Hmm. Because they always assume that everybody that comes with me, they have their personal number. We don't have their numbers, please. Moving on to Daily Sun. I think I have a few more minutes. Yoruba APC leaders reject Ododua Biafra option. We must negotiate Nigeria's unity, Cardinal Onayekon. Open grazing ban, northern youth split over Malami stand. Uh, again, herdsmen kill five in Taraba. Ex Imo Governor Korocha didn't give us 500 million, 500 million naira, says IPOB. And Atahiru others died to keep Nigeria safe, says Khan. All right, let's start with the negotiating. Yes, so um, the Executive Secretary, Nigeria Christian Pilgrim Commission, NCPC, uh, Reverend Yakubu Pam has urged Nigerians to do everything possible to avoid plunging the country into civil war. He said that there is no issue we have right now that cannot be negotiated. That the way Nigeria is crying out, it means that it's time for negotiation. And this is the time he expects everybody, every organization to come together, present our issues on the table, and work towards it. He also blamed the National Assembly for not playing its role. That they are actually supposed to be picking up, you know, important issues that we have facing the Nigerian people and talking about it, but somehow they seem to be working like a rubber stamp and they are really not different from the politicians. So everybody needs to work together to ensure that we promote peace. It's all about one Nigeria. All right, so the open grazing ban, northern youths were split. So the, uh, I think it's an Arewa Youth Assembly. Arewa. Arewa Youth um, Assembly threw their weight behind um, the AGF, that's the Attorney General of the Federation's comments say uh, against the open grazing, while the um, Northern Leaders Youth Forum, another youth group, say they completely support the ban of open grazing. And both groups uh, um, have different views. Um, one says that um, banning open grazing is like, automatically putting a stop to all the benefits and termination of many people's sources of livelihood, and it is wrong for the Southern governors to make that kind of declaration, while the other group says they completely agree 
Nicole, the truth is that it has um, these open grazing has caused harm to the communities within the south, and it's, 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 it's only in the interest of the, the safety of the of their people that this declaration was made. Mm. Okay. So IPOP is saying that they did not get funds. Apparently, the governor of Imo State, current governor, governor Hopu Zodema, has said that um, the previous governor, um, former governor Korocha, had had given IPOP 500 million naira. Mm. And the IPOB spokesperson, um, his name is Ima Powerful, said, said um, released yesterday that no, both the previous and the current um, governor of Imo State do not have the um, clout to fund what IPOB is doing and mm. that they didn't get money from anybody. <clears throat> okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we go through, the, uh, we come back to continue the front pages. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Bye. 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 Don't worry, dear. I'll take care of it. How do you manage to keep your fabric so white? Wow! And how do you manage to keep your house this clean? I always use Hypo to make our white clothes whiter and to keep our home clean and germ-free. Make your white fabrics whiter and your home free of illness, causing viruses and germs with the disinfecting power of Hypo Bleach. Its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavity. Colgate is the world's most chosen toothpaste. Colgate locks calcium in... Keeps cavities out! Colgate is now available at 380 Naira only. We're starting the happiness movement with Morfix. For baby's happiness, it is important to choose a dry diaper because with a dry diaper, babies do not have rash and are comfortable. Nigeria's number one choice of mothers, Morfix Air Dry, has the dryness all the mothers dream of because it's ultra absorbent and ultra breathable, so it stays dry and does not lick. Our babies do not have rash. Come on, mothers, try Morfix and join our happiness movement. Protein breakfast gets you up to a great day. How do I know? Because my daddy goes through his walk feeling good and always with a smile. And the beat goes on. Mommy is always filled with confidence to deliver her very best. My sister is always in tune as she makes great tunes. And for me, <laughs> Learning new things becomes absolute fun. Even baking. That's because all day and every day, the peak goes on. And the peak goes on. Goes on. And the peak goes on. Start your day with a peak protein on, breakfast on. to keep you going. Peak. Reach for your peak. Huh. Hello, madam. Would you like?
to join us on this mission? Yes, but how? Just one question for you. How do you keep your toilet clean? I use regular detergent and bleach for washing and removing yellow stains. I have been using it for years. Oh, madam, the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes. To disinfect your toilet properly, you need Hapik 10X. It is specially made for germs and stains remover. Hapik sticker formula settles on stains and gives 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergent and bleach. Wow, now I'm convinced, Helen Paul. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now that she's part of the mission, the next house is yours. <laughs> Guess what? What? I scored a hat trick today. Cool! Wow! And how did you celebrate? Just do your hands like hmm. this. And hold your nose like this. Body odor is caused by germs. That's why you need the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which protects against 99.9% .9 odor causing germs with an extra burst of menthol freshness. Dettol, be 100% sure. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to move on to Daily Trust. Four policemen, 44 others killed in government attacks. Northern elders kick as Ondo introduces Odua anthem in schools. Buhari orders flag to fly at half-mast to honor Atahiru and 10 others. Intense lobby as Buhari shops for new army chief. And only 60,000 pilgrims will perform the 2021 Hajj. Uh, oh. Yes, Nima. Intense lobbying. Hmm. <laughs> Why the body have not even called? Um, they're already, you know, vying for the post of the chief of army staff who just died and was buried on Friday. And among the four, uh, among the most touted senior officers of the top, for the top job are Major General Danjuma Ali Kefi, Major General Benjamin Ahanotu, and Major General Jamil Taham, Major General Farouk Yaya. These four mm. are the fantastic four. Eligible. Eligible and also, you know, people are looking at to fill in the position. They said the president already is, you know, because of the importance of that office, already scouting for the replacement. Mm. Okay. Uh, I have yeah. a major headline also. Yes, go ahead, please. The, the Daily Trust took, uh, took an inventory of the killings that happened with, within this period in Nigeria. And two from um, Ebony State, two from Zamfara State, mm. makes up the police officers killed. Then 44 people were killed by Bandits spread across the country, you know, um, kidnap and killed six people killed. Just you know, a total number of killings happening. This would this would be good information for those who have to make decisions that concern our security. But then, mm. I, um, I don't know. I don't All right, let's take right. the Odua anthem. What's that? Yeah, so I have the story. Northern Hel Northern elders kicked. Um, they described the adoption of Odua anthem in public schools in Odo states as a very serious assault on the integrity of Nigeria. The state government had on, um, released a secular message that um, they were going to addressing tutors general and all TESCOM's donor directors that the Odua anthem is, will be functional in all secondary schools across the state. Mm. And this is what they uh, um, disagreed against. But Akiri Dolu said that the anthem would be rendered immediately after the national anthem at state functions as well. I'm, I'm sure the governor has his reasons for doing this, but I couldn't... I don't know, but so but this is the same government that says that he's 
he, he uh, separates himself from the Odua nation. Mm. So I'm not sure if he's not allowing the Odua anthem. anthem. I'm so not sure. If I, was, a I went to a, a public secondary school mm. in um, my secondary school, for GS123, and we sang the Ogun states. We had exactly. an anthem. It was, was, a, it was a Yoruba it's anthem. A, yeah. So it's not like it's something new. Right. We used to sing three anthems yeah. every morning. Okay, so so I, I, I think a big deal about yes. the nation, the school, and the uh, <coughs> states. States anthem. anthem. Yeah. Okay, yeah. moving on to the Nigerian Tribune. Tinubu Baja, APC Southwest leaders, governors opposed secession. 72 injured in Kano petrol tanker explosion. Uh, NDLA intercepts 8 billion naira worth of cocaine and others. Reps member from Oyo petitions presidency. Buhari calls wife of late chief of army staff. Treat military plane crashes as national emergency, Khan tells Buhari. And secession not solution. 1999 constitution is the problem, says Adebanjo. Uh, all right, so which story are we taking here? The Kano incident. Kano incident. Yes, yes quiet, so as uh, said, about 72 people uh, sustained injury, varying degrees of injury, uh, following a fire outbreak at the filling station in Sharada, uh, Kano municipal local government area of Kano State. Um, the story says that um, the tanker was trying to offload petroleum products at the filling station, and then it just caught fire. Even people who were attending to uh, buyers in the filling station, people who ran into you know, try to help everybody cut fire and about 72 of them. Mm. Thankfully, nobody has died yet. They've been taken to the hospital. But I think the commission now was speaking and he said that um, they had already, you know, given out a directive that um, um, tankers should not offload during the day. It was supposed to be something done at night. But these people, you know, still go ahead <laughs> and do what they want. But um, investigations are still ongoing and people are All in right. the hospital. I have the um, Pa Adebanjo story. Um, he says that secession is not the solution, according to him. He says that, um, that the constitution is fraudulent mm -hmm. and that we cannot stay under this current constitution. And he says that um, he has been championing and will continue to champion the um, self-determination struggle for um, all regions. He said, I don't want, let, me, let me quote him specifically. He said, I don't want secession, but I won't, say, stay, I won't allow Nigeria to stay under this constitution. The governors have no powers over the police. The moment you have a regional autonomy, which we, ha which we had in the past, mm. everything will fall into place. So he's reiterating what the Southwest um, governors and um, leaders, APC, has said over the weekend, saying that they were against secession, but they are totally in agreement with self-determination of ensuring that there's devolution of powers and the governors and the regions have more powers over the oh, center. Let me take the stock and bond stories. Yes. So usually um, the stock and bonds are indication of how well our economy is doing and in the past week both stock and bond had fallen hmm. and the statement was that usually when stocks do well bonds would fall because it means that people are they are trusting the system and the system right now people were selling out they are scared um <coughs> selling out their stocks so bonds has also fallen by almost 50 percent he said it was a three percent dip in stocks over the past week by week by week on week comparison mm. obviously people are not they don't the confidence level of nigerians in our mm. economy is really really low and mm. there needs to be um, decisive action carried out by those handling nigerian economy to show up trust in the system and they can do it but they, they just seem not to be willing to let us just trust a bit more okay let's move on to Spins vanguard out. probably our last paper for this morning mm. um let's find it still we're not taking amechi orders arrest of vandals buyers of stolen rail equipment mm. power generation falls by 6.72 percent in seven days Lagos lo local government polls. I have no preferred candidate, says Tinumbu. Unimate gets one billionaire grants from ASR Africa. And uh, insurgency, Atahiru would have made Nigeria proud, says Buratai. And finally, Uzodima films as Delta Monarchs back southern governors. Okay, let's start with uh, which story are we taking there? Uzodima, Uzodima go ahead. And that is see. just a sensation. That was not uh, the story. <laughs> but uh, the story was that the Delta State Traditional Rulers Council. I declared support for the Southern Governor's decision on the ban of open grazing. Eight point communique. And they talked about restructuring, ban on open grazing. According to them, that was the solution <coughs> of panacea to peaceful coexistence among Nigerians. And they you know, employed young people, political leaders, everybody should join hands to defend mm. our democracy. Meanwhile, uh, Hope Zodima was fuming based on the fact that a Boeing State Police was attacked. And Nima already mentioned that a bit. Two, um, a policeman and a gunman was you know, shot right. dead in mm. that uh, altercation. I wanted to take the story of the Ashiwaju saying that um, 
he has no preferred candidate. And I thought that was important because there's always that gist going around and ah, this is the person that the Ashwaju was, this is the person that he has said it categorically that in this coming elections, he has absolutely no preferred candidates. And that let me he spoke, not, is that unfortunately people intend on sowing discord and undermining democracy within the party. They've begun to spread lies and rumors that Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu and the GAC have a list of preferred candidates for the upcoming primary elections. And I would like to state here categorically that they have no preferred candidates and there's no such list. So that Nigerians know that please go and sometimes it's to the myth. most democratically. Say, oh, this is the person endorsed and the person no, we've, is we've, we've gone through that. Yeah, yeah. So they'll just say it's the one that Ashiwaju endorsed, but so nobody was endorsed. We've, so. As I said, it's, it's something Officially. that we are buried. Oh, this is nothing you said. Ashiwaju is angry. Mm. Really? Yes, and really? he's like, no, Mariah, please do your job. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that um, it's important that we make that categorical statement. Okay, which other story in Vanguard? Uh, who has Amechi? Okay, I thought somebody mm. took that story. Uh, I took it with the took pilotage it. Uh, story. So the award, the contracts for uh, uh, award of license, licenses for fi those who, um, controlling pilotage within the MPA was suspended by the suspended MPA uh, boss because she felt that due process should be followed. Mm. And he is insisting that release this, that Nigeria is losing over $50 million between August 2020 to uh, May 2021 because... These licenses have not been given, and that the, the uh, control of it should be returned to Intel. And because of that, they're, you know, they're going back and forth on the issue. But I, I think that argument of the fifty million dollar is just for his support, support mm -hmm. arguments against. I think due process should be followed. All right, I think that's all we can take on front page review. We're going to go on a break now. When we come back, the hottest topic Nigerians mm -hmm. are talking about. Why did the commander-in-chief of the armed forces fail to attend the burial of one of his generals? That's our hot topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Making the incredible affordable. Ever wondered how easy it would be if your bank was part of your life? Sort of like an assistant, a buddy, and a plug. So this should be ready for buy tech? Definitely. All right, let me see what this meeting is about. I'll hit you up shortly. No problem. Alats, you there? Always alert, sir. <laughs> I see what you did there. Am I up to date? What was that? Your repayment has just been done. By the way, I found a cheaper ticket for your flight. Awesome. Should I pay for it? Yes, do that. Also, schedule my run for 7.19 a.m. tomorrow. I missed it this morning. Already done. What else? Grocery shopping. The list has been sent to your phone. Perfect. Shall we? The chicken is on aisle seven, so is the pasta and wine. Oh, what a pie. Sweet, sweet pie. I meant the one in her hand, sir. I knew that. Anything else? All done. Just get ready for your date. All right, cool. Welcome to the future of banking. A lot. Simple, reliable, and convenient. A smarter way to bank. Welcome to your online. 
Nobody's perfect, but some are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Power Horse, unstoppable. That as a mother, one thing you should never compromise on is your family's oral health because they deserve the best. Oral B, all round protection. It's great value. It protects your mouth from harmful bacteria and also protects you against tooth holes and gum problems which can lead to tooth loss. It strengthens your family's teeth and gives them all round protection. So remember, protect their future. Oral B for healthier, stronger teeth in just one week. Would you like to join us on this mission? Yes, but how? Just one question for you. How do you keep your toilet clean? I use regular detergent and bleach for washing and removing yellow stains. I have been using it for years. Oh, madam, the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes. To disinfect your toilet properly, you need Hapik 10X. It is specially made for germs and stains remover. Hapik sticker formula settles on stains and gives 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergent and bleach. Wow, now I'm convinced, Helen Paul. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now that she's part of the mission, the next house is yours. Help make nights rest filled by keeping baby's bum dry all night with Huggies Dry Comfort. With our stretchy waistband and super absorbent core, Huggies Dry Comfort provides all night dryness and comfort to make nighttime rest filled for baby and you. Huggies for all night dryness and comfort. Guess what? What? I scored a hat trick today. Cool. Wow. And how did you save it? Just do your hands like this. And hold your nose like this. Body odor is caused by germs. That's why you need the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which protects against 99.9% .9 odor-causing germs with an extra burst of menthol freshness. Dettol. Be 100% sure. for staying with us. So the absence of President Muhammad Buhari, the Commander-in-Chief of Nigeria's Armed Forces, at the funeral of General Ibrahim Atahiru, has set social media on fire, especially Twitter. Because as the burial of General was ongoing, many governors also converged in Kano for the wedding of one of the uh, sons of the Attorney General, that's Abu Bakr Malami. Now, also in River State, Governor Nisam Weke was holding a political rally as Nigeria was mourning the late military chief. Now, many have described this entire three in individual incidents as shocking. Others said it shows that Nigeria is not worth dying for. Now, what are your thoughts on this? It's pretty hot. People are talking about it. Um, since then, um, the presidential spokesperson, I think on social media, had responded since the controversy started. And she had said that it takes 48 hours for the presidency to, to prepare, to go for protocols, mm. to prepare for the presidency to go to anywhere. Mm. Therefore, there was very little time for the protocols to actually prepare for the president's appearance at the funeral. And that was the reason she gave for his, 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 his um, absence. What are your thoughts on this? Let us hear. You can call us on 081 You can also call us on 091 You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag... Your view TVC so we can read your tweets, ladies. So, um, we're gonna because as a moderator, <laughs> as a moderator, I need to see both sides of the story and I need mm -hmm. to understand where we're coming from because, um, people had said that, um, yes, because the military is almost like his first constituency, yeah. this is your this is your baby, mm -hmm. you should not really go there. Others are saying, well, he has sent the minister of defense. Mm -hmm. Isn't that, shouldn't that suffice? Let me start with you, Nima. So let me just first of all put it out there. If whether he attends or not, none of the dead will come back. Exactly. His attendance will not bring the dead back because we have seen people saying that. But then, you know, uh, the president is usually very healthy, you know, for certain travels that surprise us. You know, I would expect that the vice president, who is much younger and much more physically healthy, could attend France. 
and negotiate, who is even a professor of law, and negotiate well on behalf of the country in France with the AU uh, that w when they had their meeting in France, but that didn't happen. The vice president could have also been on certain other travels for him, but that also didn't happen. Then when something as serious as this happened at home, he still doesn't show up. I watched the funeral on, on Sunday, sorry, on Saturday, and at some point I didn't know I was just always crying because I saw how pain the families mm. of those people on that flight was. In fact, there was a particular um, um, officer whose father was made to receive the flag on behalf of the family. He had, I think, his sister to one side, and the old man was physically crying. You, you, would, you visibly crying. So you, would, you would expect that. You know, African culture of I invest in my child, and my child then takes care of me. Mm. At the time, at the height of his career, you see that child just fall and die, and then they are giving you a flag. And you know, you cannot rely on that flag and the country as much as you can rely on your child that you have mm. raised. Mm. So you know that you can understand the pain of those family members. I want to commend the Senate president for showing up. But the president, the commander in chief of the armed forces, should have physically showed up at least. At the church service and the janazah for the, uh, the dead at the National Mosque in Abuja. Mm. That's the least you can do. Okay. You all don't right. have to be at the ceremony itself where the interment and all of mm. that is taking place. Show up and physically, don't make a phone call. Show up at the house of the family members of these officers. Because you cannot show up for every Nigerian army officer killed on, at the one front right now. Yes. <clears throat> that can be taken care of by people that you delegate. But yes. when this is the the, your, your, the, your, your first man, in the army, your first, your first person to okay, rely let me, on. Let me come okay. to the ladies. So I, 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 I think um, there is a difference between doing and to be seen to be doing. And the way the world is, we need to be careful that when you're doing, you also need to be seen to be, to doing, be doing, or else <laughs> whatever it Perception is that you're reality. doing. Exactly. So uh, for me, it's about empathy. It's about the fact that this is your number one man who is in charge of defending the country. I believe that all protocols should have been suspended. It's not just the death of ordinary uh, soldiers or ordinary pilots who just went about to do their duties. This is your number one man. All protocols, no matter what it is, should have been suspended. In times of war, you don't wait for 48 hours mm. to, you know, organize yourself and put your protocols together. You move. So this, for me, is an emergency that required that you move, you know? And then the body language of the presidency, the body language of people in places of authority that we expected to know better. People were busy packing up as if nothing happened, as if no life was lost, no important life was lost. What message do you pass to the ordinary Nigerian who is looking to come and serve the nation? Mm. That if I die, my death is in vain. Nobody cares in Nigeria. Mm. I think we need to be very careful about the perception that we give to the people we are right. leading. I'll come to the issue of the party in a minute because I want to hear your initial thoughts on this before we go into mm -hmm. the issue of the uh, governors. The go ahead. Okay, so um, uh, what my initial thoughts was there are three things plaguing Nigeria. Three things the president promised to deal with. Corruption, security, improving the economy. Till now, six years down the line, we still have those three problems he promised to deal with in his first campaign to become the president. Now, the level of insecurity in Nigeria has risen to the point that even your economy cannot work without security. Yeah. Now, your chief of army staff died in full gear, in full duty, and protocols were more important than showing the military that you support and respect them. Because the president's presence, speech by himself, communication with the family was a, will be a show of confidence, support, and um, empathy of the sacrifice of the people that are dying daily to bring peace to this nation. The priorities of the president showed that he did not have one good advice, and personally, he did not prioritize the lives of those who put their lives on the line on a daily basis. The fact that the chief of staff died in a plane crash well, it was a mishap. But other people, by their everyday activity as, as, as uniform wearing, serving Nigeria, they every day put their lives on the line, yeah. every day. So when they see their own boss die, and, nothing is and done. there was, the phone call came in after 24 hours. Hey. There was no physical presence of the president. Or the vice. Or the vice president at the burial. 
what signal do you send to them? This is a military that's already feeling demoralized, that yes, they're always so. protesting every other day. There's something this shirt exfoliating clay and vitamin B3 for beautiful, even toned skin that glows, giving you lasting fragrance. So rock that glow and work that beauty because you are more than what they say. New Lux Even Complexion. Not one, not two, but three reasons why ProVest is best for you. One, you save up to 22% on your. Hello, you want 35 packs? Okay, we can deliver them in three days. Hello, sir. 75 bags? Yes, yes, I can deliver. Hello, ma. Yes, ma. Your order for 90 bags has been confirmed. Need a loan to grow your business? Visit rentmoney.com or call 0700 5500 to get a micro business loan today. Need money? Rent money. It's a proven fact that swimming improves performance in other sports. And importantly, it helps build strength. Luya Premium's high calcium formulation helps your kids grow strong by building strong bones and teeth. Give your kids full cream Luya milk so they are not just strong, but Luya strong. Luya, more than just milk. Bye! Bye. Bye. Don't worry, dear. I'll take care of it. How do you manage to keep your fabric so white? Wow! And how do you manage to keep your house this clean? I always use Hypo to make our white clothes whiter and to keep our home clean and germ-free. Make your white fabrics whiter and your home free of illness, causing viruses and germs with the disinfecting power of Hypo Bleach. Washing powders are the same. Sunlight adds bursts of freshness to cleaning power to give you sunlight two in one for sensational cleaning and freshness that lasts and lasts and lasts. Sunlight two in one. Sensational cleaning with burst after burst of freshness. Guess what? What? I scored a hat trick today. Cool! Wow! And how do you celebrate? Just do your hands like hmm. this. And hold your nose like this. Body odor is caused by germs. That's why you need the new improved Dettol Cool Soap, which protects against 99.9% .9 odor causing germs with an extra burst of menthol freshness. Dettol, be 100% sure. Help make nights rest filled by keeping baby's bum dry all night with Huggies Dry Comfort. With our stretchy waistband and super absorbent core, Huggies Dry Comfort provides all night dryness and comfort to make nighttime rest filled for baby and you. Huggies for all night dryness and comfort. We want it tasty, we want it creamy, we want to nourish it. Love ay, 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 ay. deliciously creamy with all the goodness of Vitarich. That's how we've made the new Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Cowbell Evaporated Milk. Evaporated just for you. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this matter of the Commander-in-Chief. The President Buhari not um, attending the burial, burial of um, the, late, the late general. Um, there was other parts of the governors attending the, the wedding, and that many mixed reactions also trailed that because people are saying that do you expect them to change the date of the wedding that has been planned 
That's ah. one. Mm. And secondly, even if the family doesn't change the, the wedding plans, maybe the governors could have deferred or sent somebody in there in, 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 in absentia. What, what do you think should have done, should have happened for the wedding? <sighs> this is what you know? me, I think. They come, they will still drop envelope. The one that will send Malu will still send it. But when something as sensitive as this has happened, send it in and sit down. Because the most important thing is that all of them, because everybody is shouting insecurity in one area or the other, all of them should have been at that point of barrier and should make the effort to condole the family members of all of those officers that died. All of them, I'm not joking, including the person whose son was getting married. And we know as Muslims that whether or not he's sitting down there wearing that agbada, his son will get married. Even if you have planned a, an event of, a, of millions of naira, you could have, you know, toned things down and the event will still go on. A nikah is something that is so simple, but you wanted to do, you had planned state barrier and the event that happened cannot stop you from being I, I, a big I, I, man. I, I don't totally agree that they could have probably cancelled or not done the wedding. No, no I didn't say cancel. Yeah, but the father was a nikah, the yeah. a nikah is, a nikah does not need the pomp and pageantry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if they choose for pump and pageantry, yeah. that's their choice. No, 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 no. That, that's the sensitive. Mm. Because the father is not every ordinary Nigerian. Yes. Mm. Minding their business. It's, in a, it's, our, it's our own appointed minister for, for justice, a mm. public servant. Yeah. Mm. And he could have been on that. And plane. you know, he could, yes, he could have been on that. He could have been anybody. Mm. Okay, ah. so you're saying that even so, because it's, it's his son's day, it's not so mm. much his day. Mm. So would I now jeopardize my son's happiness uh, son because of. This situation, I'm just trying to be Moraya, see both sides. I don't think I'm going to blame the I'm not going to blame the father of the year. I think, I'm not, I, I, I the think attendance of the governors were yes. discussing, so, not the wedding itself. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for me, number one, the wedding should have been toned down out of respect because you are, yes. not, you are, no, longer, you are no longer yourself. You're a public servant. Public, we are paying your salary. The entire country pays your salary. When you opt to serve in a country, you serve and you sacrifice for service. Enough of us feeling like wait, um, um, politi politicians and leaders are above the law yeah, or no. beyond human beings. You are public servants, sir, and you are paid by government. If you don't want the backlash on your activities, Step then down. resign. Mm. Step down. Now, other governors also know that they are pointing fingers for the chief of staff to come and help them fight the insecurity challenges in their own states, and the man dies, and all of you go and party. It is... It is there are some things that you don't do mm. because you want people to understand the importance mm. of the sacrifices that people make mm. for this country. Mm. Those men, young men, old men, they've made the ultimate sacrifice based on some inefficient processes because they would still investigate what caused the plane crash mm. and find out mm -hmm. that it was probably something that they could have replaced or well, something. The mechanical? Yeah. The mechanical. mechanical will come out. It could be you don't mechanical. Know. Let me, let me they call. are gone. Thanks for calling. Chibuza, oh, I hope he's still there. Hello? I think we might have lost our call. Yes, BC, you're Yeah, so I, I, I wouldn't blame the uh, Malami for his son's wedding. I agree with Mima, it should have been toned down. And even if he doesn't want to, you know, appear for the burial, he could have sent somebody to represent him. But then the other governors that came there shouldn't have been there. They should have mm -hmm. gone for that burial and sent their gifts to the person who is getting okay. married. Because the thing is... Uh, we need to learn how to put national interests above our personal interests, especially if you are holding a very Public. pivotal position in the society. Can we say bagam on that? <laughs> national <laughs> interests interest must above. come first, and that is where patriotism comes in. That's so. so you need to put your nation first. This is a man who we had been waiting for mm. them to change, change service chiefs, change this one, change that one. Now he just got this position. It's even heartbreaking that mm. may God not give us a position that will end our lives. Mm. Because you. some people in his family would have been saying, ah, ah, ah now, hey, yeah. are you mm. sure he shouldn't have just been where he was mm. before? Mm. You know? So it's a very sensitive situation that everybody should have just been there to support. Mm. To support the family, to support see, the family members of all the other people that have, you know, that, that, it wasn't a moment to party. Yes. I know, I know that they have spent money in planning their yeah. preparations and all of that, but it should have just been toned down so that their presence would be felt yeah. in that barrier. Let me take Adeyemo's call. Adeyemo, are you there? Thanks for calling. Yes, good morning, Morales. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, yes, the president has acted in this manner. It mm -hmm. only shows that Nigeria is not a country worth dying for. Mm. That is just the attitude of the president. I would personally not uh, blame the vice president because the vice president 
uh, cannot be the commander in chief while the president still exists. Uh, what is the president? You know, for me, the president has been. We have an absentee president for a very long time. I will always say this. Hmm. I mean, I'm a, I'm a supporter of the president, but this time around, he's been very, very absent in the country, especially when his attention has been urgently needed. So, uh, Oshiba, you could not have attended that burial because uh, he was not delegated to. The president can only delegate that power. You know, and unfortunately, he delegated it to a minister of defense. That, hmm. That's quite uh, unencouraging. All right, thank, thank you very you. much for that call. So you see, there's also that part of the civil service. Oh, there's protocol. Uh, there's, a, there's a way they delegate. Mm. It's, not, it's not part of the delegation. These are things that we've created. We are human. We've created these things. That's why those things could have been suspended yes. for the sake of this situation. Yes. Now, also, there's something called perception is reality. Mm. Even if, yes, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't feel like attending the funeral, the fact that you are seen, you well, are seen to be... Um, to be... Um, well, to be... It's the, the, this solemn moment over having a party in its own carries a lot of weight. Yes. I just who are seeing us. So uh, I guess it's the perception of the what we, how we're seen. Or 48 hours. It's uh -huh. how we're seen. Our, it's not communicating to our soldiers mm. that actually that, they are, they are, that this country is the worth fighting, fighting for. It's all about it. For. But the moment if they saw that all our leaders suspended, are, are suspended everything they everything had to do for the sake of uh -uh. this. Last respect. Then, they know that, yes, they are fighting for a country that uh -uh. actually cares and that is worth it. if America does it now. American soldiers die they should and they, copy the America. level of honor. Oh, no. They should not copy America. They came to Lagos. When, when the, the explosion okay, happened. Okay, bombing happened and people died in, in, in uh, hundreds dead the other day, the president, sitting president at the time, showed up personally within 10 hours oh. in, in Lagos. And the epitaph is still there. If you yeah. drive through Isolo, you see it there. That's even besides the point. As Africans, you show up. Your to pay your last respect. Mm. Mm. You show up as Africans. That's why I said you should address you, the 48 hours. Talking with the president's protocol with, needs 48 hours. That's what I'm saying. The, service 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 service. Service. the, the protocol so needs 48 play. hours. So and that's helicopter. It is not a helicopter. It is within, as in, it's Central not like they're traveling. Perimeter is well secured. So, in my own the case, national mosque. You, you are prioritizing, the, the president is prioritizing his own um, security. security. And we've seen that many times. And we've seen a military that has complained consistently about not being cared for, mm. about not, not um, about their welfare not being taken care of. And then the chief of army staff dies, mm. and the president's protocol. Somebody was able to tweet mm. to say that the protocol requires 48 hours. Mm. So if anything happens to the president's family, it will take him 48 hours to show up there. Mm. Be. That's right. But because are we not? We're not the. Chief Did of, his son have an accident the other day? Did it take him 48, 48 hours, hours for his protocol to be ready? We have to wrap up on this, but I think um, they speak the, the mind of Nigerians. We're not happy. I would have loved to get some more tweets on this. Sorry, uh, we are please. Please. Sorry. Please, so let's take tweets, so we can um, run off on the that's break. Annoying. Go ahead, Lima. Okay. Um, uh, Ade, Ade, Ade Soya is wishing up. said, the death of these military men and the chief mean nothing to the presidency. The wedding can be cancelled for national burial. Um, Toyo to 310 says, I've, I'm delighted that you have put some people to shame by addressing this issue today. I love you ladies and your brain and all of that. Because Ak okay. Akiboyewa says, those criticizing PMB for not attending the funeral of the chief of Army staff must understand that there's no precedent for it in the history of our country. Many families of the late military officers would have preferred private funeral for their departed ones. It didn't happen. Bill K says, and it's the last rites. I don't know why our president wasn't at the burial of his chief of army staff. Maybe there was a hint he could be targeted at the event. Or what was it? The nation deserves okay. answers. Even if it's for security reasons, we need to know why. All right, we have to wrap up on that. But I think our voices have been... Um, expressed loud and clear. Yes, and I think Nigerians' views have been also expressed. The presidency obviously understands that his handlers could have done this better. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we forgot to even mention that because they are, they are the ones that the advise advice. the presidency accordingly. And obviously, they dropped the ball on this one. Even himself. All right. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on this segment. We'll come back with moments on the next topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. As I wake up in the morning, freshness fill the air. Yeah. My confidence stay high, so I go as confirm man. Fresh mm -hmm. bubble, fresh mm -hmm. bubble, oh don't go fresh bubble. Ew. 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 Only freshness and cosmetic cleaning is not enough. That's why you need the power of Double Green Gel. Double Green Gel is naturally formulated with a unique blend of mint, lemon, and other trusted herbs and ensures fresh breath and strong white teeth. Double Herbal Green Gel. Freshness as well as protection.
place and it brighten. Make everybody be wonder. Wait till it cause I'll be shy. Long hair or short doesn't matter. Porsche or dreadlocks can be better. Only for girls we know better. So you want to slay? Slay with swag. Gotta be lush, yeah. Gotta be lush, yeah. Beautiful people know how to make an impression, and that's why they only trust Lush Hair Extensions to bring out the shine in them. Lush Hair, be beautiful. John, you can use our toilet now. Ew! My mommy said I should always use a toilet that is cleaned with Hypo Toilet Cleaner. James will bite my bone bone. John, what's the problem? <sighs> Use Hypo Toilet Cleaner. Introducing the new and affordable Hypo Toilet Cleaner. Kills germs and deodorizes your toilet. Hypo, oh my Taste is key and that's how we communicate. Best nourishment in every school. Baba. Tasty Baba. Scoop of tasty nourishment. Introducing the new Mini Me Chin Chin Classic flavor. Make the children they happy. Yeah. All the people they like I'm day and night. Every day is tasty because you were always present in my life. <laughs> Yes, but how? Just one question for you. How do you keep your toilet clean? I use regular detergent and bleach for washing and removing yellow stains. I have been using it for years. Oh, madam, the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes. To disinfect your toilet properly, you need Hapic 10X. It is specially made for germs and stains remover. Hapic sticker formula settles on stains and gives 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergent and bleach. Wow, now I'm convinced, Helen Paul. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now that she's part of the mission, the next house is yours. Okay. As part of efforts to improve the local car Did she just say she spent the money? You spent the money? If Trisha was your girlfriend and you can't give her a hundred thousand naira, who can you yet talk to that one now? Eh? In Nollywood, we know how to give a good shout. Why they go carry go 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 inside room? Because come on, it's still open there inside, babo. Because if we don't, you just won't get it. Ah! Nicola, I took care of you. Who were you wasting our time then? You had us beg you. I'm sorry. I was just trying to mess around with you. Oh, what? Shouting is fun when it's dramatic.
Thanks for staying with us. So the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has also come under fire on social media following a leaked memo conveying the approval of 30 million naira for the construction of a Friday mosque with taxpayers' funds. Now, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us again on 0812705 You can also call us on 091390 You can tweet to us at TVC Collect. Please hashtag your VTVC so we can read your tweets. I'd like to start with Nima again on this because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we hear of this in our own side of town. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I hardly hear it from, 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 from that, that a mosque is being built for 30 million with taxpayers' funds. Could you tell us exactly so it's, it's your thoughts on this? It's expensive to build a mosque anyway, you look at it. But to build it with taxpayers' money is mm. a different matter entirely. I, like I always said, religious matters should be left to people who have the capacity to do good. So I, my father started a mosque that he privately built. And a central mosque is something that we... We have central mosques mm. around the country everywhere that communities are building. It should not be taken from government money. And this is the Ministry of Agriculture. So for me, it's double heartbreak for me. Imagine that they empowered farmers with fertilizers, you know, create um, uh, um, grass because, you know, their cattle rearers, they help them to plant grasses that, you know, they could use to feed their cattle and then help in some way use this money to reduce the influx of traveling and, you know, nomadic movement of cattle around the country and more fight between farmers and others. Mm -hmm. It would have been more uh, useful. But the spokesperson for the Ministry of Agriculture then comes out to say that, ah, what is there? There's nothing there. We well, built it mm. as a part of resettlement mm. for the people. And I'm wondering, you're resettling a farm and you want to build a grand mosque that will cost 30, mil cost 30 million. Something yeah. is not adding up. Either somebody shop the money. Somebody wants to shop the money. Or somebody wants to shop the money. Because cattle's... You, if you go to places, they can organize their Juma service anywhere, even in an open field. Or build a tent. The, 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 the congregation is the people, not the building. I have seen the Honorable Minister of uh, Information... Uh, Balaji Lai Mohammed, pray on <clears throat> one outside place like this. Ooh. When it was time to pray, Thank I was you. shocked when he came down from the car, from his jeep. His prayer, he came down and joined the drivers and the bike deep. drivers. Mm. And, they all, and I was like, really? It was so humbling to see it. So when you are building a whole, whole structure. structure. So for, the former for Emir of Kanu, you know, I, you will say that I love him. I just like that man wow, for, for his intellect. Mm. When he criticized and he insisted on regulating religion, it's for reasons like this. Because people like the show off. Mm. And this is a religion that even forbids that show of to, it's where that we are careful mm. to do so much. When it's time for solar, everybody becomes as simple as you'll be when you're dead, mm. as if you have nothing. Mm. You can pray anywhere, anywhere your solar meets you, you pray. And I know these cattle men, they've been praying before they decided to go and sacrifice one grand building for them. That must maybe total will not cost 10 million, but somebody has, you know, budgeted. 30 million for it, and he's trying to crazy. justify it with religion. Mm. Mm. And that's, that's the high service that will kill your, your thoughts on this before I come to talk away. When I saw that, I was like, ah, this religion again. This same religion again. What is the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture? Now, they had explained that they wanted to resettle the farmers by giving them a place of worship. Is giving them a place of worship the first thing the do that you them. should be thinking of? Have you, or, have you given them a good place to stay? Do they have portable water? Do they have good homes? Do they have where they can keep their animals? Do yes, they have, they have you made all yeah. of those provisions for them? It's to build a worship center where we know that you can actually pray anywhere. Is that the, the, the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture? Like it was, I was trying to understand agriculture and building a religious yeah. house. Well, you see, I didn't see, understand see, that. Why I would like us to be careful is because listen, let's us let's, let's acknowledge something. Mm. We are different kinds of people, okay? Mm. There are different regions. Well, there are ethnic differences, religious differences. Mm. I know you can talk about the religious part, but there are some, there are some, there are some um, ethnic differences that we cannot, com we cannot really we can't discuss. Understand. We can't understand. Mm. So for you, building a mosque might not be the priority, should not be. Mm. But in the, the other communities, that could be the most important thing at the time. For, that, 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 for them, that is value. To them, so it depends. We cannot, mm. we cannot judge based on where we are of our own map no, of the world. Value a value against development. Are mm -hmm. we not working yeah. towards the development of the country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see that this business that this, these people are into yeah. is causing a lot of harm, and we're trying to find 
you know, modern solutions to settle everybody so mm. that we can have peace, we can have better growth of our animals. Mm. And you want to pick religion first. Mm. I'm just trying to understand. Dr. So, Kwe, please, let me just say that. Please, uh, just, please yeah. let me just put it in priority for you. So the reward of building the mosque is for the Muslim, mm. not for the Ministry of Agriculture and whoever is sitting down there using taxpayers' money. Mm. If you are to resettle them, they sell their cattle in peace. They farm in peace in their settlements. They make their money. Their profits, mm. they give it back to God by either you know, doing charity or building in the name of God mm -hmm. a home, a house where they can congregate. It is not for the Ministry of Agriculture to, to do that. Because that. you know the sensitive religious thing, that's what I'm talking. Mm. Now when you have a building of 30 million naira without education for a religion that says that pursue education even as far as China, that prioritizes education and knowledge to a 100% for every Muslim, and you do not create a place where they can get that education mm. and get that exposure that they need for us to move beyond where we have been for the past 60 years. There's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, Raya, you asked the question that, what if that's what they want? Mm. That these people, we don't know them. We don't know what they prioritize. Mm. The job of the government is not to give people what they want. It's to give people what they, they need. deserve. Mm. So you create a vision for your people. Mm. If a people say they want to wear rags, you say, my people, you cannot wear rags. Mm. I will give you cloth. Not anymore. If people say that I want to eat... Um, um, on the, trash. On the floor. You say, no, my people, I'm going to give you a table and plate and give you proper food. So the idea is not for the government to give people what they want, um, what they want but what you believe will make their lives better, better. because you are coming with a vision. Now, uh, BC let, raised let, that let, issue. I'll let you go back. Mm. So it, it's also a decision whereby a governor was giving some people uh, noodles. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 I, and I made uh, that statement uh, then. Yeah. Yeah. That giving people, you say, oh, we, we don't know what they need from the South West, that um, people in the North, they actually prefer that wheelbarrow mm. and they want to be made tea. And I said, no, the job of the governor is to cast a better vision mm. for them what, where they are. Right. But they provided amenities because they, uh, I mean, in reaction to the leak, the press release said that they had provided solar powered boreholes for mm. them. Yeah. with overhead tanks and drinking throws for their cattle and small ruminants. They provided water harvesting structures, milk collection centers, resettlement abode as well. These were all provided for. Um, I did not see where they million. put school there, yeah, because I'm sure if they had provided a school, they would have written it. Would have been written for their children, at least. Let me, let me go on a, go on a yes. break, then we'll continue with you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. As I wake up in the morning, freshness fill the air. My confidence is high, so I go. As part of efforts to improve the local content participation in the oil and gas sector, the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, is inviting you to the third edition of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Opportunity Fair, NUG of 2021, with a theme, Leveraging Opportunities and Synergies for Post-Pandemic Recovery of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry. This event brings together major players across the upstream, midstream, and downstream sectors of the oil and gas industry, including government agencies, industry regulators, showcasing opportunities in the industry, and presenting available in-country Capacity. Date, Tuesday 25th through Wednesday 26th May 2021. Time, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Venue, virtual. Nog of 2021 promises a great virtual experience, combining current technology to deliver collaboration between thousands of key players in the oil and gas industry, which will help grow businesses by exposing opportunities for quick decision making. To participate, log on to www.ncdmbnogov.org. Nog of 2021, presenting opportunities in the oil and and gas industry. John, you can use our toilet now. Ew! My mommy said I should always use a toilet that is cleaned with hypo toilet cleaner. James will bite my bone bone. John, what's the problem? <sighs> use hypo toilet cleaner. Introducing the new and affordable hypo toilet cleaner. Kills germs and deodorizes your toilet. I no more get up and go. <laughs> Kids, we need you. Get going. Energy you need to get up and go yeah. every day. Enjoy Cowbell Choco. A new life.
Life is here with Enterprise Life Assurance. Our decades of experience in the West African markets will help you achieve your dreams with peace of mind. Visit www.myenterprisegroup.io forward slash ng or call 0700 Enterprise to know more. Enterprise Life, your advantage. <laughs> Sensational world of love, now accessible through one code, star triple seven hash. As I wake up in the morning, freshness fill the air. My confidence did high, so I go as confirm man. Fresh bubble, fresh bubble, oh don't go fresh bubble. Only freshness and cosmetic cleaning is not enough. That's why you need the power of Double Green Gel. Double Green Gel is naturally formulated with a unique blend of mint, lemon, and other trusted herbs and ensures fresh breath and strong white teeth. Double Herbal Green Gel. Freshness as well as protection. Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in our country and the world at large, we have channeled our manpower to increase capacity for the production of medical ambulances. Though it has not been easy, as our core values involve responding to emergency situations and managing to deliver fast against all odds. Innocent vehicles will continue to satisfy the automobile needs of our country, both in emergency and normal situations. For country and for God, innocent vehicles drive with pride. Not one, not two, but three reasons why ProVest is best for you. One, you save up to 22% on your payment. Two, you get to save and invest to save or invest. Three, in just nine months, you get your land and documents hassle-free. Rollout ProVest is for you who is looking for a tangible return on your investment while saving costs. Hurry now. Visit www.rolladproperties.com forward slash ProVest to get started. Remember, the best time to buy land is now. For staying with us, we're still on this matter of the 30 million era mosque that was built by the Ministry of Agriculture. Yes, Tokwe, continue. So, um, so apart from all the things they said they had done, they said this particular mosque was a request from the Borneo state government to avoid these people from moving the, the settlers from moving too far to pray and getting in contact with insurgents. So, the um, reply was that this memo is official, they followed all due procedure before they approved 30 million naira in a Borno state <coughs> where there is so much crisis going on to build a yeah. mosque. So if the go Borno government requested that it must be built with that amount of money. There was a community that requested, not the government, the community. The it community. says that the construction of the mosque was a special request from the community to 
or through the Borno state, state government. Um, government from yes. the community yes. through the Borno yes. state yes. government yes. to avoid yes. moving too far. Yes. Yes. Like I said, the pe people might not know what they should have. The government should know better. The Minister for Agriculture should know better. I have worked too hard in the agricultural mm. sector mm. of this country to know that we have many things that 30 million will do for us as a nation, that must, it shouldn't be the top priority. Mm. And it isn't also, shouldn't, it shouldn't be the priority of the Ministry of Agriculture uh, agri to spend agric funds mm. to build a mosque. That's but that's so when agric, when, uh, when they request for it, yes. that should be sent to another exactly. ministry mm. who to is handle. more appropriate, so that's, not the funds you yes. got for agriculture that's, that's, to do building. That's my own grounds. Because I'm not against them building a mosque. Because no, that was a request from the community. And I, we mm. shouldn't speak against that. Yeah. But if the people want a mosque, there should be proper um, ministry that handles that. Mm. Not the ministry of Greek. And that's where the issue is. You, It's not within your own powers not to your, build a mosque. Not in the order of quality they, they, of your budget. Yes. You have a budget to fund the agricultural sector of Nigeria. So somebody else your, should have done that. Yes. Let's so list machinery that, you know... Um, 30 million naira could have ha aided, how it could have assisted the people. So they have aiders. Imagine they had the milking machine mm. put at a particular point to assist you them in assessing it, milk uh, and preserving that. and then reselling milk. Instead of them just carrying their cattle up and down, they could also have tractors given to them yeah. to help them in farming uh, grass for their cultivating cattle. Hay. Cultivating hay. Uh, hay. And the people cultivating here can just break out of the chain of um, mm. uh, normal, uh, cattle life. and mm -hmm. continue to plant a hay and mm. sell hay for as the business. People bus yes, as business. And so we break down the chain and mm. employ more people. But then, because foresight is something that is lacking, we decided that a mosque. I am a Muslim, and so I have every right to say that a mosque is not the first thing. Mm. One of the reasons most of these farmers are where they are is because they do not have the proper education and exposure. And the people who, are, who have the education in the north and are open and honest and objective and fearless enough to speak spoke but the north elite did not listen but Nima, let us be careful this is boring if you build a school you are you're actually making your people more susceptible to the um to the um, um bandits to the insurgents i don't so agree. they're also being very careful here let's give the community well, what they want so i just say okay so i just say the ministry yeah. of agriculture will not build this school now. Right. so are they saying now that they do not need education because we have bandits attacking schools mm. what about uh, for me i think we need to be very careful on some of the actions that we take as a government uh this particular administration has been accused of being nepotistic in everything that they do because i remember the time we had a lot of farmers sacked in Benue State. We did not hear that the Ministry of Agriculture decided to build a church for some persons who were sacked or build a mosque for some persons who were sacked to be able to have a place of worship. We didn't have that. So if we now hear that in Borno State this has happened and they are using money from agricultural sector to build a mosque, Tomorrow now, we'll start hearing other people saying, okay, Requesting. what about the farmers from this area? Have you done something to yes. resettle them for their place of worship? So the government needs to be very careful in all of mm. these actions. We have to work to it. Yes, and it's not just, yes. we don't just but blame one person. There are many people that approve this thing. Yes, sir. Before mm. something gets approved, it goes through many layers and bureaucratic process. Yeah. Is it that nobody in that entire process saw so this flag that this was wrong? Mm. Mm. Very, very bad. All right. Mansour right. Saidu says, it is right to do whatever that would improve farmers and agricultural production in Nigeria. Wow. Building a mosque means to utilize their time without going to a far place for prayer while farming. Mm. Mm. This is sad to know. I wonder what um, a place of prayer is to him. Temi Akenja said, the GCFR did not honor the chief of army staff in a country called Nigeria. Um, I am witty boy says, this will serve as lessons to others in the field of military that Nigeria deserve. Ah, these are, these are non-patriotic tweets. I can't take them. Yeah, and yeah. But, so, but we, as we wrap up on this, I think I want us to be very clear because, listen, mm -hmm. this is a community that has been torn apart, torn apart mm -hmm. because of insurgents. Yeah. And there, this, is, this is a minister that has provided boreholes, mm -hmm. uh, some machinery for them to be mm -hmm. able to continue their farming. And, they, and one of their requests is we need, we need a mosque. We're not saying don't give them what they want because yeah. really and truly he should give them what they want. Mm -hmm. But we're saying that the budget of their Greek ministry ah. shouldn't have been used for that. At all. Maybe you could have deferred that to another, another minister, another minister, yeah. minister to handle works. that for them. But the, but the truth is, it goes back to what, what do we, how do we prioritize mm. the, exactly. our yeah. needs? Yeah. Are yeah. we forward looking? Should, you know, should we, we still be farming people? Mm. like this now when the whole world has gone mechanized? Even technology has been involved in, included in, in, in uh, you know, new ways to farm. Why right. are we still where we are? All right. On that note, we need to wrap up. Any more tweets on this? We have to run. Um, Olabode says, good morning, ladies. We have said it here before. Our priorities are not right. 
What has building a mosque got to do with the Ministry of Agriculture, for God's sake? When other countries are talking of technology okay. for the future, we are busy discussing cows and eggs. Okay, milk. that's all we can take now. now. Because <laughs> we are not government officials, we mm -hmm. are going to celebrate Yeni Anikulapo Kuti. Yes, yo, yo. We break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Turn around and get inside. Or maybe I better cool down. Cool down for Jesus. Wait in. In Nollywood, we know how to give a good shout. What have you arranged my step for? Because if we don't, you just won't get it. Take it away. Be giving up. One day, we need to keep doing this. We fight you. Don't worry. That's the way it should be. Shouting is fun when it's dramatic. Looking for some drama? Yes. Sit back and catch up with the slap. Ouch. Yeah, lots of slap. Oh. Oh. is endless on TVC. Now you can catch up with your favorite programs on TVC. Log on to www.youtube.com forward slash TVC Entertainment. Join the fun. Entertainment, I believe, is expression of life. It's bring you into my world, what I love, what I feel when I dance, when I'm happy, when I'm sad, all my emotions all mixed together. I'm bringing it out to just entertain you and immerse you into my own world. Entertainment is life, entertainment is God, entertainment is love. Script on the prompter, script check. Are we set in the VCR? All tip in place, VCR check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Oh wow, my typical day is filled with meetings, consultations, and of course traffic. And that's all part of the hustle and bustle of city life. But the real fun starts when I can just settle down and catch up with all my favorite programs on TVC. Believe me, it's pure entertainment. Yes, 
360 looks good on you. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you. the gray, you, you've launched I've, our yes, hair. Yes, I've launched the gray. Everybody <laughs> see, yes, I'm gray. The silver, the silver. Really. Look, 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 look. Oh. Oh. Yes, you said you're the baby of the adults of the Yes. Elder. You know, 50 is the old age of the youth, mm. Mm. and 60 is it's the young the baby age of the elder. Mm. Elders. Yes. Wow. So you agree, say the elder now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, the, I'm the baby of elders now. <laughs> so, how, so how are the plans going on for today? Ah, well, we are trying. I don't want to talk about no way, no way. <laughs> the plans because my head, this, um, ah, first of all, I got a phone call last night from the governor. Oh. Wow. So they don't know us. Said happy birthday, Aww. that he will try, he can't promise, but he will try and come Aww. today. Wow. Well, and oh, um, that's beautiful. My first phone call this morning was from Mr. Falabi Brown. Oh. <laughs> and the kids. Are you oh, yeah. 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 And the kids, they all say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. Oh. So that was very touching. Yeah. And so far, at yesterday, they had a surprise for me at the house. Oh, really? <laughs> Um, everybody was singing for me, Aww. dancing, I was dancing. Look, if you see how I was dressed, <laughs> not ready to move. I hope that nobody posted it on social media. <laughs> <laughs> we'll right, we're going to show a documentary matter. on YK because we're celebrating you today. So we're going to watch this documentary this moment. Let me start by saying we give God all the glory for your life. We really thank God. On your 60th birthday, you are healthy, hale, and hearty. Happy Wishing birthday, Waike Power. Happy Waike. Wishing you many more great birthdays, long life, and prosperity. And you are. Happy birthday, YK Power. Happy birthday, YK Superlistic. YK Power, I wish you well. In good health and long life. Happy birthday, YK Power. I am grateful for the kind of boss you are. I'm very happy you're celebrating your 60th. Happy birthday and best wishes to you. Ra, 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 ra. Oh, 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 oh. It's the everything about the way. Pray God continues to keep you for you, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your friends and your family, in great health and in great wealth. Do we pray for the coming years? Happy birthday, have a beautiful day. Me, I cannot be yes, I yes, as no to nobody. I can agree with you. You can agree. No, I'm serious. So when you say you are submissive, know what you are saying on yourself. And if you are a yes, I yes, a person, you will there will be no quarrel between you and husband. When your husband says, say jump, just say ah why? Why kid? Honestly, why kid? Happy birthday, why kid? I hope you truly enjoy your day because you deserve it. You're a special woman, this is a special day, and you will have special blessings in your lifetime. Portray yourself as African. African. Let when the white man looks at you, mm. let him know you are proud mm. and you know who you are. Mm. And you are yourself, you are looking down on him. Hold on. Ah, who the F are you, man? <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Thank you very, very much. Woo! Bo! Bo! Happy birthday, 
like wow. it. <laughs> so I know you wanted to present something. You wanted to open. Yes. Please, let's yes. Use please. the opportunity to. You started an NGO? You would like to support an no, NGO? No, we are supporting an NGO because Celebration is um, a non for profit organization. And um, it's very important that um, we support NGOs. And this woman came on our show a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And I promised myself that mm -hmm. I was going to give her something. But COVID happened, uh, things, um, happened. things are not easy, but I said, no, this uh, celebration will use this opportunity to donate this to the Cerebral Palsy Center. Oh, mm. oh so Cerebral yeah. Palsy. Um, Whoa! Is that announced bigger? Yes, please. Yeah, so, please. Um, YK and Ikulako Kuti is and there for celebration. And celebration is donating a million naira mm. to the Cerebral Palsy Foundation. Thank you very much. This is only, only YK will want to celebrate her birthday yes. and then we'll donate <laughs> money yes. as a way to oh, celebrate her birthday. That's fantastic. Wow. So, before we present to you our gift, I'd like the ladies to say a few things. I'll just say a few minutes just to each say something. I know Maram is not. Child, don't let me cry. I know no, we're not. So we're trying not to. If I cry on my birthday, I'll be crying throughout the year. Let me start with Nima. Nima, please say one or two things. I'm so grateful to God. I remember when YK was 58. And we were discussing six years, and I was saying to her, why can nobody know tomorrow? She said, Nima, six years, I say, oh God, please, let us see it. I'm just mm. so grateful to God that we were, we're all here again. And you're so you. healthy. I'm happy. I'm grateful to God, to the creator. <laughs> it's the, yeah. God, God, God is the creator. Uh, uh, before you blow me from a distance. <laughs> no, God is the creator. No, I, I forgot yeah, to use yeah. the word. No, it so doesn't So the creator yeah. for, for your health, for your success, for your grandchildren. I've seen you happy. I've seen those landslides. And I remember meeting you for the first time and thinking, you look so angelic without makeup. Mm. Still think so? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have that confidence to come on uh, <laughs> without makeup. <laughs> I've seen you vex. I don't want to be on your, on your vex side, but I love you so much, Waiki. Thank, Thank you. you. I've not seen her ah, vex. Yes, yeah. I've never seen her vex. Like, <laughs> she's, for me, she's a very sweet soul. Yeah. She's a wonderful okay. person. And um, she's, she's very approachable. Mm. YK is not someone who sits with an air about herself. She's someone that you can approach. She has a listening ear. She's, she's true from her heart. That's Thank one thing you. I like about YK. And the fact that I enjoy being on the show with YK, like anytime uh, I know I'm on the show with YK, I love that. I'm on the show with you too. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. I am back. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. The fireworks, YK. Why K, why K, what they say, the person that YK gives bass boost most, <laughs> yes. I'm the one. Ah. And, you know, to a large extent, I just feel like it's, you don't correct people you don't love. Mm. So if there's so much correction, and because for a long time, it is English, it is dressy, your <laughs> hair, for all of that. And I am so grateful to have you in my life. You've taught me by your personality, equity in sharing, love, selflessness consistently. I've learned it from you to love my culture more. I've learned it from you to be proud of being African. And I love you. <laughs> I'm really, really happy to All be. Right. For me, I just mm. want to say thank you very much, YK. You're just a good person. YK mm. is a giver. Mm. There's no person here whose birthday comes. YK gives you gifts. Not As so in, yes. correct them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she travels. Things about everybody else. You're very selfless. Very. You very love life. Yeah, you enjoy you. life. You mm. let us understand that you inspire us. Mm. You know, we, we, you. we try to lose weight and look good because we have a YK. Uh -uh. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> Thank you, YK, for being such an inspiration to all of us. We love you so much. Mm -hmm. And honestly, on behalf of the ladies of your view, mm. it is my you. honor mm. to Thank give you. you a little gift. But talking you. about love and appreciation to you. you it's so not much. much but the ladies have worked so hard to give this gift to you. And, I'm and I would like to present you with just this small gift. Thank you. Go ahead, YK. Can you, you open, open it? Your Thank gift. you. Open your gift. Wow. Please open it. Open it now. Open it now. <laughs> open it, YK. Please don't cry. Open it. Please. Please don't cry. Please open it. Let us see what it is like. She's going to cry. Don't cry, you please. I'm going to go so cool. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Don't cry, please. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let me let me I'll take a few minutes to share the testimony of this your your gift, because since we've known you, you've been driving the same car. I've told everybody that right is driving that same car. She's not the kind of person that looks for wealth. Mm. She just mm. she's, she's content she's giving yeah. with what she's she has. Yeah. And um, because of that, 
the last year the list came together, I said, what are we going to give YK? And we now decided the car. And then we said, if we cannot afford a car, we'll find a travel gift, uh, gift for you. So the ladies mm -hmm. started planning. Every week they were giving you something. They planned to give you gifts. And then they were planning on the getaway. But then we spoke, on, we spoke to people. People, right there, people rose for you. Mm. Oh people God. came, people Thank called you. in and said, Mariah, what are you doing? And mm. I said, this is what we are doing. And we put together the money. Why mm. every, about 10 people came together mm. and put the money together for this, for this gift. And I'll give you their names later, you can read them, but I am grateful for those who we Thank called. You. Mm. And they showed, showed up. And gave and supported this. Why we're going to stand up and go and see. But Your car. Don't worry. We're going to go outside together now. Hey. So let us brand oh new, brand new, brand new car. Okay, you guys. There is God. There is God. You know. so much for joining us on the show please today is yk's day we are celebrating yk for all of you that supported this project thank you so much god bless you we love you and thank you to gsc motors mr jubril mr jubril oh. he was amazing he gave us 20 percent discount he's an amazing guy thank you so much for what you've done i really appreciate you and um have a wonderful day we'll see you tomorrow bye thank you thank you Yay. Yeah. 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 Y
Thank you, Mr. Lukman, for bringing me to the show. Ah! Hey! The following is a paid presentation by ShopX TV. Are your kitchen drawers starting to look like a bad garage sale? Steamers, rice cookers, roasters, slow cookers, and just how many pots and pans does one kitchen really need? And every time you cook, cleanup's a disaster. Scraping, scrubbing, what a chore. What if you could replace all this with one single nonstick pan? And what if this pan was innovative in design and made of the highest quality craftsmanship? And what if you could cook with it on the stove and in the oven? Introducing Copper Chef, the nonstick all round square pan. It's a breakthrough in technology. Copper Chef with extra deep sides replaces a roasting pan, a rice cooker, a steamer, a stock pot, a wok, and a baking dish. What's the secret? Copper Chef's innovative stainless steel induction plate heats the pan quickly and evenly with no hot spots. And watch this, Copper Chef is heat proof up to 850 degrees. Incredible! Plus, your Copper Chef pan features Ceramitech, a new generation of healthy ceramic non-stick technology. That means nothing will stick to your pan. And because you're cooking with ceramic non-stick, you don't have to add all that extra fat and butter. Copper Chef is unbelievable. You don't have to use as much oil or butter and it cooks in half the time. Copper Chef stainless steel induction plate makes it perfect for any surface, electric, gas, ceramic, and induction. Amazing! With over a million units sold worldwide, the Copper Chef has taken the cooking industry by storm and is now available in Nigeria exclusively from ShopX TV. You could be paying over 100,000 Naira for a pan that's not even non-stick. But call the number on the screen now and get the Copper Chef single pan for just 34,750 Naira. Your Copper Chef pan also comes with a deep fry basket, a tempered glass lid, a steam rack, and a recipe book at no extra charge. But that's not all. ShopX TV is proud to introduce the Copper Chef XL Pan to add to your collection. The family-sized XL Pan is 60% larger than the standard pan and works on all stoves including electric, gas, ceramic, induction and even in the oven. Call the number on the screen now and also order the amazing 360 non-stick frying pan with induction plate to add to your Copper Chef collection. This amazing Copper Chef triple combo set has a combined retail value of over 167,000 Naira. But if you call now, you can get the entire three-piece collection for not 167,000 Naira, not even 120,000 Naira, but just 81,900 Naira. That's a savings of over 80,000 Naira. This incredible ShopX TV offer includes two deep fry baskets, two tempered glass lids, two steam racks, and a recipe book, all for just 81,900 Naira. But hurry, this exclusive TV offer is for a limited period only. So call now while stocks last. Let's get cooking. The proceeding was a paid presentation brought to you by ShopX TV. Entertainment for me, uh, first of all, I say is a vocation, is uh, is work for me, is a way of life that uh, brings about merriment, relaxation, and uh, it's, it's, it's happiness. It's everything good put together, anything at all, just to make you happy, give you joy, uh, make you laugh, make you dance. Entertainment is a way of life for everyone.